Hello, I'm Dr. Moy Markman from Cancer Treatment Centers of America, and I wanted to talk briefly about a very important paper uh, that recently appeared in the Annals of Oncology. The paper is entitled, The Impact of Olaparib, Dose Reduction and Treatment Interruption on Treatment Outcome in the Solo 2 NGOT OV21 Platinum Sensitive Recurrent Ovarian Cancer. The particular focus of this paper is what happens if a patient has adverse events during the first couple of months of therapy and are not able to receive all the drug or all the drug on time? Does this have a negative impact on clinical outcome? And I think you know doctors and patients need to know. The data that's been published in major journals show that this particular strategy, that is the use of a PARP inhibitor, in this case, we're talking about Olaparib, but there are other PARP inhibitors obviously well uh, as well on the market in various countries, um, have a major impact when used as a, um, as a strategy, appropriate strategy in ovarian cancer. But because the therapy is oral, and in fact, we know that a very large percentage of patients experience some elements of emesis. It, it may not be vomiting, maybe nausea, you may not be able to take the therapy, fatigue, lowering the dose, et cetera. What is the impact on outcome? And these data are extremely reassuring. The investigators demonstrated was that in patients who were not able to receive, uh, they looked at greater than or, or less than 90% of the scheduled dose, those individuals who are not able to receive um, the 90% mark they looked at appeared to experience a very similar outcome, which of course with these, this drug, these drugs in this setting is very positive. So again, very reassuring. So that if a patient does have to have dose interruption, does have to have the dose lowered because of side effects, it is worth doing this and trying to come up with a strategy that works for that patient. Because if that is successful, the data here suggests very strongly that the clinical outcome can be very favorable. I encourage those of you who uh, care for patients with um, GI cancers, or GI cancers, um, or patients with ovarian cancer in particular, and obviously patients themselves and their families, to read this important paper in the Annals of Oncology. And I thank you for your attention.